Yeah, it was definitely a big moment. Um, like I said, man, I feel blessed. You know, God has, has taken me through a lot, and He's brought me through a lot. So, you know, what I mean, He prepared me for this moment. What did it feel like to see daylight there and, and know, you know, you were gonna score that with that touch? Oh, it was like, you know, a lot of people would be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But I literally dreamed about this play, like literally. I dreamed about running a post, catching it, and scoring just like that, and it happened. Um, God allowed it to happen, so I can't I can't ask for anything better. Is this straight, a straight post draft? Yeah, we straight post draft. That's good. Morgan, how it, uh, beneficial is the two years in uh, Calgary playing in that open, you know, playing that style of football? Does it help a wide receiver uh, uh, even more? Honestly, well, honestly, for me in my position, um, I wasn't doing much motioning. Mm -hmm. I was pretty much a stationary receiver, so it wasn't really that much different. Right. Um, I came, I was, I was playing on a great team, great program, a lot of great coaches who helped me develop as a receiver, yeah. um, and you know they prepared me for what was to come today. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm forever grateful to them. How much do you think that, that helps? To, you know, I mean, obviously your team got a lot of receivers, but you're trying to, to stick with them to, right. to open some eyes with a big play like that. Yeah, um, I, I try not to. You know, worry about what's down the road. I try to try to focus on the day, getting better every single day, being a, being as best that I could possibly be, and giving myself a shot. And whatever happens at the end happens. You know what I mean? Even before today, were you pretty have you been pretty happy with your camp? Um, yeah. Uh, I feel like I, I feel like I kind of started off on a high note and it kind of slowed down a little bit because I wasn't because I was my mindset was coming into camp every single day make a big play. You know, like a 15 plus yard you know play. But you know, some days it's not gonna happen. But for me, you know what I'm saying, I like to be my toughest critic, so I, I like to come to practice every day with the mindset of making a big play, make it, even if it's one. And so whenever I don't make, the big, make a big play a day, it kind of, you know what I'm saying, it kind of bothers me a little bit. But I, I, overall, you know, just as long as I'm getting better every day. Yeah, I felt like it was a good day with the little bit I played. Uh, you know, I was just excited to hit somebody else. You know, we weren't playing our, uh, the same defense that we have for the last two weeks, so it was fun. Um, you know, we got out there, um, just kind of did what we could and get back to it on Saturday. How much more have you enhanced your route running this year compared to last year? I feel like quite a bit. You know, the more you get to do it, the more you get to do it against uh, elite defenders, the better you get at it. So um, I feel like it's definitely improved since last year. Thank you. Is there more of an emphasis or, you know, was there any encouragement, some motivation maybe to help the team sort of expand your role? Um, no, nah, like I said before, I just go out there and try my hardest every play, do what I can uh, to be on the field, and that's what I'm going to keep doing. Do you feel that there's not a linebacker that can stay with you in the open field? Yeah, I think it's a tough matchup for linebackers. Um, you know, uh, I've been playing with Zach for so long. Uh, I haven't had a lot of linebackers on me, but they did today, and uh, I was able to have fun out there. It was crazy. It's crazy. Uh, you know, it's everything I've been really dreaming about. Um, and for a place to be, be, I mean, a place like this, I mean, the fan base is crazy coming from Penn State. So I uh, felt that same vibe that I felt at Penn State. Not running with the first team offensive line, uh, you know, was it hard to kind of get in a rhythm? Um, no, I mean, just uh, we just got to go back, come back to uh, work on Saturday and just get better, you know. And we got three more games to Three more opportunities to uh, get us right, so that's what we're going to do. Do you think, I mean, we saw, I guess it was mainly Jordan on the ground on the first and third drive, and mostly you on the ground on the second drive, and then you come out mm -hmm. on third down. I mean, obviously it's early, but do you get a sense that they're going to kind of almost like go off and on with you too? Uh, yeah, uh, kind of got that vibe today. Um, that's what they told us how it was going to be today. Uh, just going rotate in and out. One will start a drive, but rotate in. And that's what we kind of uh, did, just kind of get used to that. Uh, what happened on the end? There was a plus pickup, and there's two guys. Mm -hmm. So you got to pick one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, what, I mean, what, it was one of those, one of those where um, this uh, bad communication, you know. Uh, yeah, we just had to pick up one blitz, blitzer, but two men came. So uh, we're going to watch the film and uh, get it right. Just getting my feet wet, you know. Remember after our first game in college, just looking forward to the next week, being like, man, I can't wait to get out there. So, looking forward to it, and um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Is there something to be, you know, a positive to be gained just from going out there and just going through 
the motions of, of you know what it's like to play at this, at this level. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I've you can practice all you want, but it's different to go out there and put the pads on and, and play against another team. So, um, like I said, it's nice to get my feet wet, and so I'm looking forward to next week. Did anything take you by surprise at all? No, I mean, everything was right there. You know, great calls. Um, just got to put the ball on some guys. You know, those guys were open. Felt like I've seen it in the right place on most of them. Just got to make the throws. Did anybody say anything to you on the sideline, coaches or Carson or any other guys, just about take a deep breath, calm down, set your feet? And... Yeah, you know, they were just encouraging me. They were like, you know, you're going to the right spot. Let's just make the throws, you know. And so they were, they were keeping me up, which was nice, and keeping it loose. Tonight, obviously, you came in cold without knowing you were coming in. You had some field position issues uh, down like on the one yard line and all that. What do you take away from the way it went? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just it's 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 nice to get those kind of first reps out of the way. Um, you know, live game reps. Um, first play, they brought cover zero on me, so it was kind of a kind of a introduction to, to playing here, which was nice. But um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 something to build off of, something to learn from. Um, made some good reads, some stuff I could have fixed. Um, missed the ball to, to Wendell there on the side, but you know that's kind of just part of it. Did you get a chance to talk to Nate at all? And what did you say? To yeah, him? yeah, I saw him after. Yeah, I just we all gave him a hug and told him we loved him. We're there for him, um, you know, and, and just to stay positive. And if he needs anything, we're here for him. During the June July downtime, obviously a lot of guys take time off, uh, exhale. I assume it was a little different for you because you probably took advantage of it to, to keep, yeah. continue to learn the offense. Yeah, yeah. I mean that was my biggest thing was, like I said, being here in the spring, um, kind of getting a head start with the offense uh, before fall camp and, you know, I guess and, and taking it in the summer. I spent a lot of time, you know, studying the offense and, and taking my playbook out to the throwing sessions I had with my quarterback coach and, and kind of just, you know, calling those plays out, practicing, you know, those reads. And I think, I think it, it, it helped me a lot in the first, you know, week, week and a half of camp. Um, you know, obviously the reps I did have here and there, making some plays downfield, being able to push the ball a little bit further down and, and you know, knowing to go with the ball instead of, being a little hesitant, but yeah, I mean, I think tonight was was you know got a couple drives there and, and you know something to build off of, and um, obviously going forward this week to kind of see how that changes a little bit and, and take advantage of those reps. Given that Nate's been in the system and and you're pretty new, you know, to being here, yeah. how comfortable do you feel if you need to be the backup, you know, for for the long haul here? Yeah, I mean, that's 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 part of you know the NFL is is you hate to see it, and these guys are you know family guys you work with and, and you go you know. There's so much with, and then you know they're your brothers, and then but it's kind of the next man up mentality. So um, that's the mindset I'm taking into it, you know. And obviously I'm gonna lean on Nate a lot. I know he'll be there, and, and Carson. Um, but you know, it's just for me, it's it's something that you, know, you got to take advantage of those opportunities and, and, and you know, make the most of them. Um, but at the same time, like I said, I feel for Nate.